This is Max 7 tutorial number 8. Presets. Well hello again. Um, in the last tutorial we learned how to put things in presentation mode and presentation modes a lot of graphic user interface and getting things to look the way you want them. Now sometimes you want to be able to select that so we're going to learn about a tool that gives you a lot of options under that and is a good way of setting up your uh, patchers uh, to work in a variety of ways. So let's just get right to the preset object. Um, I'm going to just maximize this window because I want as much room as I can get today. Um, and I'm going to move over a little bit here and right up here I'm going to type the letter N and type preset and click outside here and we get this nice little box here um, called the preset. There it is. This new Mac 7 preset's a little harder to look at than some of the previous ones but um, you'll get the idea pretty quick. So the preset, what does it do? Well each one of these uh, squares inside here it has like a memory of everything it's hooked to that remembers where everything is. So let's just do a quick, uh, we'll connect it to this swatch that we had sitting here for no apparent reason in our patcher that you were probably wondering about all this time. So it's it's hooked to that now and we'll just um, lock the patcher and let's take our swatch and move it over here to the left hand side. It doesn't matter where it is. Now go up to the first square, you'll see the one kind of dimly there. Push shift on your keyboard and click in there. Now come down here, move the preset over a little bit to the yellow, go back up into number two, push down shift and click in there. And let's just do it one more time so we have uh, multiple versions. Let's move to green, go back up there, shift and click. Okay, so now click outside of it and go click in one and you see it go to red. Click in two and you see it go to yellow. Click in three and you see it go to green. Well that is just fabulous. So now we have a way of controlling uh, it just remembers where this was when you hit um, when you hit that shift click it can remember those values for a lot of things. So now if we uh, sort of scurry ah, over here, I'll just zoom out a little bit. Let's unlock our patcher and let's just uh, show something else here. So let's connect the bottom of the preset to the slider we had over here that controls the metronome. Okay, and let's make the metronome uh, sorry, let's lock the metronome and put it up at a thousand because that was kind of a useful number to have. I can't get a thousand exactly. What are you going to do? Uh, 1046. Okay, whatever. And let's go over to number one here. You can click on the one first or you can just shift click on it and it'll, re it'll record that. So if you click on one now Oops, see, I forgot to move my swatch, so now it's stuck where it was um, in number three. So now it's just going to go from yellow to green. Okay, so let's go to number one, and for that we're going to want this at 1,000, and darn it, we're going to want our swatch at red. So now we're just going to shift-click, and that's going to grab those two right where they are. Now we'll go to number, click on number two, it goes to yellow, this hasn't been set yet, so let's move this up to 2,000. Why not? Or uh, as close to it as we can get. 2026. Perfect. And we'll shift click on that again, and then we'll go to green. And uh, now we want a fast timer, so we'll go all the way down to 49. And we're already at green, so let's shift click on number three there and see if we did it right. 
there's red at 1,000, there's yellow at 2,000, and there's green at 2,000. No, we did not do it right. So let's move this back down to 49 if we can get it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I had it there for a second. There we go. And shift click on there again. And there's 2,000 yellow, there's green 49, and one at 1,000. So that is what preset is used for. It can actually do that with an unlimited number of objects. Now, not every object can be um, can work with preset, but many of them can. So this is a great way if you wanted to make a bunch of different um, what would you call them styles for your patcher then this would be a great way to do it so for each thing that you wanted to let's say color um, you could have one of these and it would then output it to that thing so um, there's another object that this works well in conjunction with and <clears throat> that's the attribute object which you can get two different ways. One, um, let's let's click on our panel here because that's a good way to find out about that. So we'll click on the panel and then we'll go over here to interior color. Let me just zoom in so you can see it, but not too far. Okay, if we if we hover around on interior color, we see this eye here and uh, we can um, see it sets the color of the panel in RGBA format. Okay, so if we want to change the interior color of that panel, one thing we could do is send it a message that says BG fill color. Okay, and the way to do that would be this number coming out here needs to be prepended, which is another object. I'll just show you in a second. Uh, type the letter N, type prepend, mm -hmm. it's <laughs> typing, Computer's a little wonky. And then BG fill color. And so, what does that object do? Well, it will connect this output to it. And what it does is whatever message comes out of the swatch it puts BG fill color in front of it and as we discussed before that is how we change the attributes of well of the fill color really nothing else so I'm gonna zoom back out because my poor computer is about to slow down and crash. I don't know why zooming is so hard for it. Okay. And now when we do this and click on one, two, three, we get three completely different things going on there. Now um, what's going to happen when I stick this thing back in presentation mode, you remember this was behind everything else in our egg timer of, of the previous patcher. Um, it will change this color, but the funny thing is that what we won't have there is the preset object. Um, we can do one of two things. We can unlock here, click on our preset, lo uh, preset object, and then go over here and say include in presentation, and we could do that, or we could put another object here 
and put that in presentation mode. So let's um, just just because it's fun, um, type the letter N and type U menu. And that gives us a nice menu that we can type a list of things into. So um, let's uh, connect the left hand um, outlet to the inlet of preset. And then let's go over to the inspector and let's go down here to items and we can uh, you'll see under items there's a an item called items under item which is defined as menu items that's a lot of items go over here and click the edit button and this is the list of things that we'll be able to put in that box so um, I guess we can't get rid of empty until we put something in there so we'll put in um, moody uh, happy and uh, uh, blue. <laughs> blue the French way. B-L-E-U. And I don't know why I can't get rid of that. There we go. Finally, I'm getting rid of empty. So delete empty. Put in those three words and then click OK. And then we will lock our patcher and see what happens if you click something other than moody here. There's moody, here's happy, here's blue. Uh-oh, I see a problem. Okay, moody's not going to do anything because it puts out a zero. So what we have to, we have to modify this a little tiny bit. Such is life in the world of programming. Um, unlock your patcher, Give yourself a little bit of space here by pulling these down. And then we're going to come and put a new object up here. It's going to be simple. Just type the letter N, type a plus, and then a space, and then a 1. The problem is that Moody is number 0 on a U menu. And the preset does not understand a 0. So we're going to add 1 to everything, and then it's just going to work great. Okay. Now we've got our plus one in there. Okay, locked our patcher, and here we go. Here's Moody. Here's Happy. Here's Blue. Now, obviously Blue is not Blue here, so let's change it to Blue. Uh, a more Blue Blue. Something a little more somber, how about that? And then we'll shift click on it. Okay, and Let's go back to happy. Is that really? That's pretty darn happy, so I'm not going to argue with that one. Uh, and moody. That is definitely not moody. Uh, moody, to me, would be a kind of a yucky green. Nah, or something like that. Here we go. Is that moody? Is that moody? How about purple? Purple's pretty moody. There. That's. Is that moody? There we go. Uh, moody purple. And we'll shift click on that. So now we have these selections of colors to choose from for Moody, Happy, and Blue. And we can unlock our patcher, click on that, and click on the U menu, go over here, and under Presentation say, Include it in the presentation. Great. OK. So let's go to presentation mode and see what we've got here now. Uh, zooming out a little bit. Your egg is ready and we'll, uh, we're unlocked so we can actually just move blue over here to our presentation mode. And now when we're all locked up here we can select Moody happy and blue and 
that can change not only this but so many other things so let's just quick go back to patching mode well I just realized I'm gonna have so many so many so many things to say here so it also changes the timing of this thing well this is a timer so we don't really want to change the timing of this so much as we want to change the timing of um, uh, the number that it counts up to so let's unlock here pull these up disconnect to this from that because we don't there we go deleted that patch cord go inside the metronome set it to a standard 1000 and never change that again now we still have this ability to change some number here and the ability to keep it so what would we change it would probably be this uh, 120 number here which is a uh, um, so we could actually put this in between that this will this can be the number that it counts up to so let's make the output of this um, go down to the counter oops not there down to the counter maximum and let's make the 120 which will uh, let's just get rid of the 120 that's kind of pointless there we go so now we have this controlling our maximum number count and what was I gonna say oh right um, what we want to do is be able to control some of the other things as well so if we use this swatcher to um, control the color in here if we wanted other things to match this and stay the same color we could do that but we can also have preset control another swatch so let's option click on this and make ourselves another swatch and connect that to the very same outlet on preset it just connected to something else don't let it just grab that and drag it over there there we go okay so now um, let's lock the patcher for a second put it click this on one there we go this is clicked on one now and it goes to wait. let's go to moody there moody there it is it's on one and it's that purple color let's just say that we wanted our text color then to be a nice complement to that so something that would be moody and uh, you could see against a purple background perhaps that would be um, something just kind of a lightish pink okay so now we go up there and we shift oops we shift click on that one and now let's try the next one happy okay if something's bright yellow let's say we then wanted bright red text to go along with that so let's set the bright red text and we'll go and we'll shift click up here and then let's click in number three and oh, I'm sorry I keep doing that let's pull the menu down so blue so we remember what we're after that dull blue so what would we like a text color for that kind of blue maybe a light a light blue and then we go and we shift click there again so let's just check them and see if they work moody yep they move around and like that happy yep and blue so now if we have any text colors down here that we wanted to change um, how could we do that well we could just say um, prepend text color almost certainly just like we do a prepend uh, background fill color now we don't have to do that for all of these um, what we could do is just substitute it for these messages here so since this one we see it says text color 1.1.1.1.1 right if we unlock our patcher and like this one we make a prepend so here's a new one prepend um, text color 
Okay. And then we hook this to that exact um, message box. Oh, that's the one that says your egg is ready. I'm not sure if we want to change that one. Hmm, that one might be a trouble. I'm not going to hook to that one. I'm going to hook to um, timer ready and patience is a virtue. No, just timer ready. We'll only change one text color. We're, we're super customizers here. Okay, so um, now when we, when we change these here from moody, okay, you see the text color has changed down here. And if we were to click on this, it changes the text color of this message to match the background. And I'll just zoom out a little bit so we can do it more than once. And if we do that uh, and click on this, it will turn red and most, mostly disappear. Yeah, you can see it very faintly. And if we change it to blue, then when this thing fires this, and only the timer will eventually click uh, check this off, then it'll be a light blue thing. So quite nice. Let's uh, go back to our presentation mode and take a look at it actually actually working. Um, let's let's just make this thing count up to something extraordinarily low. Like uh, and remember, we can always type it in here. Ten there. Um, reset. Moody. And go. <laughs> it's going to count up to 1046. We put that in as a preset. Gosh, we're just too, uh, too smart for our own good here. So I'm going to just change it to 10 <laughs> and start it over. Reset. There we go. I don't know what it's counting up to. There's another uh, number, I guess, that we ought to we ought to have in there. Hmm. 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 Well, let's see what's. Oops, that stopped that. Just count up to. And timer's ready. It's going to count up to five. There we go. Two, three, four, five. I think part of the problem here is that the only time that we ever get to see the other, we, we see the, the, uh, background the text color only when it's in the timer ready mode so if it's happy we have to hit reset to see timer ready and if it's blue we have to hit reset to see timer ready in blue they're actually not great color selections I know you can do better these were just examples so let's get out of uh, patcher mode there and just um, show one more little tiny thing with how to um, how to use presets and how to um, work on these colors, which is the attribute tool. Um, and I'm just going to I'm going to use it on the on the pre no, I'll use it on the panel again instead of this pre prepend background fill just so you can no no here we go slider on the slider. Um, if we go right over next to it and type the letter N and A T T R U I, it fills in by itself. It's not connected to anything yet, so it's saying nothing. And now it can say something because it is hooked to the slider. 
So we could make our, um, I know somewhere on here is the, we could make the background color the same as the text color perhaps. Why don't we do that? So here, the background color on this slider will always be, this attribute is, is just hooked to the top of the slider. And so what it, it acts like saying background color for whatever this output happens to be. So we connect this swatch to the top of that attribute box. And then when we lock it, you can see if we go uh, moody, the background colors of this are now that, that purpley color, happy, and they're red, and blue, they're blue. And if we wanted to change a different attribute instead, we could click on here and say, uh, I, I think there's a needle color or a knob on color. There we go. So let's try that. Um, yeah, so that actually controls the slider color instead. So, moody, happy, blue. Okay, so that's another way to control the colors. And that is going to wrap up my presentation, except for going back to the egg timer, um, for how to change your presentation on your graphic user interface. Okay, and that's it for this week. Thanks so much, and I'll be back next week with more tutorials.